What is going on, everybody? It is cold, snowing, rain, got a little bit of wind going on, just nasty, nasty weather here. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jay. I live just outside of Ocean City, Maryland, and today is a perfect day to start gear reviews because it's wet and cold and nasty. So uh, I'm going to start doing a couple of these every now and again. This will be the first one out of, out of many. It's basically for products that I use the most and ones that I like the best. Uh, these products work best for me i'm sure they're going to work for you if you're into the same stuff that i am i spend a lot of time on the beach uh fishing boating uh just out in the woods all the time so these products help quite a bit now the first one i want to get into for this week is called blackbeard it's a fire starting company uh, one of the uses i use for them the most is for acetique island and i go out there and i start uh, campfires on the beach acetique island is very it's an island, so it's very windy, okay? So these help the most because they, they'll start under windy conditions. If they get wet, they'll start under there. Uh, we'll go, go into the product details after, but that's why I like them. It beats trying to bring those big, thick uh, fire logs out there just because they, they take up space in the truck. Uh, the black smoke that comes off of them just coats my truck with that. Uh, the last time I did it, I spent like 30, 45 minutes scrubbing the side of the truck. So I will never use one of those again. So this is by far the easiest product for me. We're going to get into it and then I'll show you what it is. Okay, so Blackbeard fire starters. These are the fire plugs. All right, they have fire sticks, arc lighters. They got survival kits. They got all types of stuff. Uh, but for, for me, I prefer using these plugs. The plugs work the best for me, and they're the easiest to use. And part of the benefits of the plugs, these plugs, is they're windproof, waterproof, quick to ignite. This is all in the back of the packaging. Odorless, non-toxic, handmade, lightweight, easy to use, eco-friendly, eight-minute burn time. That's what I like the best. And a 30-year shelf life. This one pack right here has 50 plugs inside, so that should last you a real long time. Uh, as far as being odorless, they are, yes, they are odorless. You can't smell anything. Uh, they do, I'm going to grab one open here and show you. Show you they're waterproof, too. This is a cup of water right here see the water in there and we'll put it right back here and drop this in there so you can see it it's floating in there okay so the plugs they look like this they're, they're kind of hard and they have sort of a light light waxy feel to them so what you want to do is just break a piece open the easiest, the easiest way that they, they say if you want to use it is just to twist it until it opens. And you're trying to expose all these little fibers. See all the little fibers? That's what you're trying to expose. Twist it until it comes all the way apart. It breaks apart and it's got those two sets of fibers. I'm going to put that one down. I'm going to hold this one over here. Another thing that I like from theirs is, is they're, they have an electric lighter. It looks like this. It looks like just a regular lighter. Pull the safety off, push this, it opens, and this is what starts it. There's no flame. See it? And it's rechargeable, it's electric. It's got a uh, port right there to plug it in. It goes into a USB port so you can recharge it. This will light pretty quick. That's it. So while that one's burning, I'm going to do another one. Gonna break it, scratch it open with my fingernail, so it's almost like a like a candle wick. And this one too. I mean, it's they're all easy to light. Now, as far as this one, I'm gonna keep dunking it in water. I mean, that's pretty, pretty coated in water. Let's see if I can get it to drip. You can see it dripping. Same thing. All I'm going to do is just hold the two pieces. It comes apart. Put one out of the way. 
Here's the wet one. I'm gonna put the wet one back in. Here's the one that was in there. I'm gonna put it right up on this one. And there it is. If you do get them wet, that's the, the whole thing about it. The good part about it is that you can still use them. Uh, for this one, again, I mean, the fibers are soaked. Let's see if it'll light. Nope. So what you want to do in this case is break it open and expose more fibers. Get to the dry fibers. That first one I lit just went out. All I'm doing is just trying to peel it open, I'm trying to get as much of the fibers exposed as you can see it. Lights right up. So again, these are super cool. Uh, just one thing that I like to keep in my in my bag when I go out to Assateague. Uh, if I'm going uh, camping or anything like that, I would absolutely bring these. They make it a lot easier. You can even use it in your your fireplace in your house if you want to to start fires if you have a fireplace. So I don't know. Just something cool. It's um like I said, it's a product that I like. It works great for me. If you want to grab one. Uh, you can go on my website, realjb.com, and go under the partners link, and you'll see Blackbeard Fire Plugs. Uh, just click that, it'll take you to their website. Or you can go to their website, blackbeardfire.com. Uh, use my promo code if you want realjb. You'll save 10% off your order. So it's not bad. Definitely something I would highly recommend. And if you want to uh, do what I you can even do what I do. This bag is open, and I just break them, break them out and just put them. Uh, pull a couple in uh, sandwich bags and bring them out to the beach. That way I'm not bringing the whole pack out there, or getting sand in it or anything else. But yeah, like I said, they're worth it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. They are not expensive at all. Uh, definitely something to keep with you. So, so anyway, that's it. Uh, Blackbeard fire starters. Definitely go get some if you're interested. I'm going back inside. It's freezing out. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked the first gear review. I'm going to do a couple more over some of the other things that I use. Coolers, fishing equipment, all types of stuff. So uh, yeah, there should be a lot more coming out. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.